And now, we go to the D's and Dons, and this was a game that uh, we were speculating could be a lot closer than some people might be giving credit for, because Essendon's been playing well recently, but Melbourne's still the top team in the league. They keep their top spot, but the Dons, man, they were playing really hard, and they pushed the D's to their limits in, in this game. The D's are barely able to hold them off. We saw some inaccurate goal kicking for either side. Still continues to be the theme of this round. Christian Petrarca, though, he finishes as one of the goal leaders. And Zach Merritt, man, let's shout him out because he absolutely tore up the middle of the field um, with 41 disposals in this game. And one of the things we have to look like, although the D's are the top team in the league and they deserve that spot, you have to look at what's kind of been worrying a lot of people recently, and that's definitely not their defense. Their defense is by far the top in the league, and that's easily their strong suit. But a lot of the times their offense has been spotty, especially over the last few rounds. And so I still think they're premiership favorites, but... It seems like once you get late into the finals against these top eight, top four teams, if their defense is nothing but nothing less of a phenomenal, they're going to have a hard time winning games. This was just a game that was just tough. Like I, Essendon kind of came in with their run and gun style, and, and Melbourne really kind of benefited from Essendon's style of play, where they like to bomb it into the forward 50 and let their big forwards go and get it. Well, that, that suits Lever and May to a T. They're such great intercept markers that I think that really, really caused the, D, the, the, the Dons a lot of headaches because what they were used to getting in some of the other games, they couldn't. This, is, this Melbourne team is by far going away the best defensive team in the entire competition. There, there is very few arguments anybody close. can put up. Um, I mean, I think the Western Bulldogs are slowly kind of pulling their resume back together a little bit after a few shaky weeks there. But it, it is hard to argue that May, Lever, Christian, Salem, and that, that back line of the Melbourne Demons is not the best. I think now the biggest questions, it, it, it's almost kind of nitpick time on this Melbourne Demons because they're so good. I, I've noticed that now you get the questions of, so they big in, they bring in Ben Brown over the off season and Ben Brown's playing in the VFL. He kicks five over. He kicks five in the VFL this weekend. And now there's questions of, do they bring Ben Brown back in after sitting, after sitting Wiederman, after seating um, Wiederman uh, this last week, uh, does Ben Brown come in? Does he get his shot to join this? There, there's questions of does Ben Brown's style fit Melbourne's pressure forward type of uh, a game? So we'll really have to see how that goes. Um, I'm, for me personally, as consistent as Ben Brown is kicking goals, I think Ben Brown needs a shot. I think if you stick him in there, I think it relieves Tommy McDonald a lot. I think it relieves uh Kazi Pickett I think it moves defenders around I, I think it's going to give teams trouble I think if you can keep him in the goal square and have him be a leading full forward have him do just enough pressure to be able to bother the fullback mm -hmm. I think Brown might be the better of the two but we'll, we'll really have to see again this is a team that the goal woes you don't want to say it, but this is a little bit of a worrying trend that they're not kicking the scores that they need. And as you said, when you come into finals, you need to score along with play good defense because it is going to be tough. It's going to be physical and every shot on goal will matter. And that's why your point to your point about Ben Brown is that they need to get him back into the lineup as soon as possible. Because if any, if they're going to find any sort of answer to their goal kicking woes, it's going to be him. It's going to be Ben Brown. And it, to the point of him playing the VFL, I can't imagine being one of these younger guys and <laughs> just seeing him walk out on the field and be oh, man, I'm going to have to defend this guy. Uh, good luck. Because <laughs> not even guys in the AFL could defend him uh, most of the time. So that's be one hell of a learning. Can we call it just a learning experience for those guys? <laughs> I'll be positive. Mm -hmm. uh, I cannot imagine. 